Hey everybody, this is Cat Bailey and I am attempting my one hit wonder run. This is my first try. Just so that you know that I am totally on the level, I am going to do one complete recording on all three tries. Um, I think for my first, uh, I think for all three runs, I'm just going to see how far I can get without using a warp whistle. I think that's the best way to go about it. Um, I don't know, maybe it's more natural that way, works that way, but anyway, my main concern right now is making it through world one, one, without getting hit by anything. That would be really embarrassing to die in world one, one. Don't want that to happen. All right, so far so good. You've got a firework. Hey, we're on a roll, everybody. All right, world 2-1. As long as I'm careful, be okay. I just kind of need to make sure that I don't hit the gaps because the gaps are where I usually die in this one. Though a lot of that has more to do with um, just being careless, I guess, trying to go too fast. I mean, this is not what I would call a hard level by any stretch of the imagination. We're still in the tutorial area. Game's still teaching me how to play. Obviously, so this <laughs> this can be a little bit of a trap. Um, mostly, oh wow. Wow. That happened. I don't know how that happened, but that totally happened. Okay, well, that's attempt number one. One, two, great, okay. All right, we've done a soft reset. Here comes attempt number two. All right, so for attempt number two, we're gonna attempt <laughs> to not have that embarrassing thing happen. Also, don't get run into the first Goomba because I, that would be a bit much, I think. It's gonna end up being the shortest one hit wonder run of all time. Mostly because, I don't know, like, it's actually kind of hard to play when you're talking. I'm always really impressed by people who can just sit around and talk into the mic and play a game perfectly. Like, they have superpowers. I don't have the attention span or, <laughs> like, the motor skills to be able to do that. Even though I've been playing this game since, I don't know, <laughs> I've been playing this game since 1989, 1990 minimum. I've been playing this game for a very long time now. I know this game like the back of my hand for the most part. So if any game, if I can play any game while talking, it should be this one. But you know how, what they say, like, you lose something like, I forget, like, when you're driving, it's, uh, if you're driving and you're talking into your cell phone, that's like the equivalent of essentially driving drunk because you're focusing all of your attention. I guess this is, for me, the equivalent of gaming while drunk. Not, not that I've had anything to drink, promise. Because I think that would make this a lot harder. Okay. Let's not get caught by that second Goomba this time. <laughs> yeah, that, that'd be a good idea. A little embarrassing there. I'm gonna get to Bowser. I, uh, that's my main goal right now. Just like one step at a time. One three has slightly trickier jumps. Be a bit tough, so I have to be pretty careful here. Hey, firework! All right. <laughs> um, maybe that's a bad omen. Like maybe a one firework is like it's a sign that I'm gonna die or get hit. Either way, kind of suck. The nice thing is, by this one hit wonder run, is that I'm guaranteed to have a fire flower all the time. Oh, by the way, like, beginners always die on those stupid platforms, mostly because time in the jumps can be a bit of a pain there. Another thing that a lot of beginners don't understand is holding down B to dash. Like, they'll just kind of run 
forward and press A. They don't understand the concept of momentum in Super Mario Brothers, and that's why they usually can't make the pits. Speaking of pits, don't fall in that one. Thank you, cat. Oh, these things make me a little, unner a little nervous. I don't like them. Mostly because if you... It's really easy to get caught in... on the edge of one. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. There we go. <laughs> Don't run into one of the fire flower, fire thingies, cat. Kill him, just kill him, just kill him, just kill him. Die. Don't hit that. Done. One four, everybody. Raw. I did something that five-year-old cat could get through in like without even trying, basically. Hey, 2-1. And yeah, a level that I do not actually go to that often because I usually take the... I, I usually take the warp when I'm doing these levels just because, I don't know. I suppose it'd be more fun to just do a straight run as, you know, the designers intended. But if the designers had intended me to do a straight run, maybe they wouldn't have put a... Uh, a warp into these games, so who knows? That's the beauty of Miyamoto. He's just like whatever. Play the game how you want. Want to take the warps this time? Sure. Yet the design is so meticulous. Oh, I couldn't get all three coins. Did you ever try and jump over the flagpole when you were growing up? You totally tried to jump over the flagpole, right? Because I sure did. I think the main thing here is just... Avoid the vortex and make sure that I'm very careful with the fire. Because this level is actually not too hard. Okay, the squid guy is a little annoying because he moves in. His pattern is a little more random than I would like. But if, as long as you have the fire flower, you're fine. Even without the Fire Flower, I usually get through this level no problem. I had a lot more trouble with this level growing up. It's the next level that's going to be interesting. Just because of the flying fish and some like crazy jumps. If I can get through that one, that would be awesome. The flying fish are what always get me. Either I F up the jump or I... Or they just hit me, like, awkwardly. I don't know, one of the two. Alright, 2-3. Two, Ugh, gotta say, I'm a little nervous here. Feel my heart rate going up. It's fluttering. Yeah, the trick with this one is just run. Don't look back. Don't worry about the damn fish. I'm not gonna talk for a minute because this one's pretty tough. Oh, jeez. You know, I think the trick was to be like this. Yeah, like, just don't stop. Because if you stop, you're going to get hit. And that'll be that. Ugh. <sighs> Alright. Last try. I think just for this one, I'm going to try something a little different. And I'm just going to try and go to 4-1. See if I can get to World 8. That'd be fun. Alright, let's do it. Jeremy didn't set any rules when he was telling us to do this. So, anyway. Yep, this is my third run. Third and final run. My last attempt. As you can see, because I am sitting here with one video file, though Jeremy's cutting it into 
a bunch of other things. This is totally on the level. I am not cheating at all. I'm guessing the rest of my coworkers are going to be cheating. I'm betting Jeremy gets through this game, entire game without getting hit because he's Jeremy. He's the best retro gamer among us. But if we try to one-hit wonder with FIFA or Madden, yeah, I t I'll tell you what, I would totally beat everybody else. Um, yeah, that's that's a thing. <laughs> Three fireworks. I think that's a good omen. Keep wanting to get the extra lives and the coins and everything, even though I totally don't need it. I guess I'm just OCD like that. Or like, it's really hard to overcome like decades, literally decades at this point of muscle memory. Like I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna get the extra life. I'm gonna get the coins. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to World Four, where there will be Lakitus and awkward jumps. And don't screw this up, cat. <laughs> no, I choose optimism. I am gonna be optimistic. I am not gonna screw this up. Famous last words, right? Again, it's so much easier when you have the fire flower. Without the fire flower, like, you have to be uber careful against Lakidu. <sighs> Whoa, that was that was nasty. The Lakidu is in the cloud, and the spiny guys are the Lakidu. I don't know. I think Lakidu is in the cloud. Yes. So spiny guys. I'm just gonna call them spiny guys. That's the way. Jump's kind of awkward. Kind of got to be careful here. There we go. Okay. I've messed that jump so many times. But assuming nothing goes wrong, again, famous last words, should be able to get to level 8. So you gotta be careful because it is actually possible to block yourself out of the warp. And I've done that so many times in this game. But I am fine. World 8. Now if I could get through World 8-1 without getting hit, that would be pretty awesome. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Um, careful there, cat. If I recall correctly, World 8, the problem more with World 8, it's less the enemies and much more the jumps. The jumps are kind of a crazy pain. I, I think, and as long as, and if I run into any Hammer Power Brothers, um, I can just take them out with my fire flowers. It'll be all good. Oh, here comes the hella awkward jump. Oh, no, not that one. It'd be funny if freaking Goombas, God. I 
like that the I like that the beetles are dumber. Okay, here's the hella awkward jump. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh my god, that jump was the bane of my existence growing up. Watch, I'm gonna die here. Alright. Nope! Woo! E2! Yeah! Beat 8 1! Without getting hit! Alright! I feel pretty good about that. Yeah! Oh god, Lakito again. I think Lakito goes away pretty early though. Oh crap. Oh my god, that should have- I should have totally been uh, shrunk there. God. Yes, give me the extra life <laughs> that I need. Oh crap. Oh crap. Don't want to deal with bullet bills. Oh! Oh no! Oh, that was stupid. Uh, I just... I was nervous about the bullet bill. Doing alright though. Damn. Oh, this is an even more awkward run. Let's see if I can make it. Oh, I totally made it, of course. Damn it. I totally would have made it through this level, wouldn't I? And then, uh... And then I totally could have made it through 8-3, too, because I had the Firefly! I couldn't think about it. Well, everybody, thanks for watching me play Super Mario Brothers. Um, it was a lot of fun. Made it to 8-2 on my third run. Um, granted, I was using Warp Whistles, but I think... Like, there's some tricky friggin' jumps in 8-1, so... Yeah, give it more practice, I bet I could get through this. Um, and maybe even finish the game, though I don't remember the warps. Anyway, I've been Cat Bailey. Thanks for watching me attempt to make it through Mario Brothers without getting hit. It's been a fun ride, and I'll see you on US Gamer.